Hello, KR Server Update is here. The update will be on global server around mid-January, so let's check them out. This is the new hero, Clara. We will talk about her later. For the banner list, there will be four featured heroes on the banner. Clara, Veronica, Lucy, and MK99. And this is the special weapon for Clara. Now let's review her stats. Clara is a ranged fire unit. She uses bow as weapon. Her normal attack cannot pass through obstacles, but her secondary attack is special. It is a buff that empower her normal attacks and change it to flaming arrow that can pass through obstacles. Her chain damage is 320% DPS, which is average, and she has special ability that increase her defense, movement speed, and burning arrow, which makes her potentially good for arena. Her party buff is ranged damage. Now let's check her stats. Her attack is very high, while having low health and average defense. Now let's check her weapon. The DPS is pretty low, the weapon skill DPS is also low, while the 8.5 regeneration time is fast. Like I said before, she is probably good for PvP because of the movement speed and defense buff. On PvE like Raid she might be an average since she is lacking defense reduced debuff, but still has a good DPS and party buff. In conclusion, I personally think that she will be good for both PvP and PvE, but not too great. That aside, now let's check the event. There will be a bingo event that overlap with the previous event. Let me show you the rewards first. As usual I will show you the list of things you need to do to get max default event points. There are coffee from regeneration, coliseum play, awakening rift, and coffee from the mail. If you do all these every day, by default you can gain around 44,000 event points in 13 days. You can also buy more coffee with gems for more event points. It is limited to 5 per day and will get more expensive each time you buy. You need to obtain every single rewards on the board to move to the next board. You can also skip it if you want. In total you will need 12 and half thousand event points to move to the next round. So to finish all 4 rounds you will need 50,000 event points. Now for the event mission rewards. As usual there will be stamina mission. But this time we also have the summon heroes and weapons mission up to 80 summons each. Guardian Pass will feature Elvira, and nothing else is new here. I really hope they put back Awakening Reset here. Next is Costume and Weapon Equipment Rotation. Now for the packages. We will have a special epic limit break hammer pack with 5000 gem. I think this is a great offer that you must take, full explanation can be found in this video. This one is kind of average, but still a good offer if you really need gems. This one I would say is a must take, this is pretty cheap compared to others. You also have various options you can choose based on what you really need to advance. All in all I personally will take this because of the rare legendary awakening stones. 
Next one is also average, not too expensive, but quite worth it. This one is good deal for those who want to buy some gems, but don't want to spend a lot. It has roughly the same rate with the three times discount ones, but you can buy it in small amount. And this one is great offer for the whales. Yes, it is expensive, but you get a whole lot of option change and lock option stones. To be honest, the rate of gems and stones in this package is in normal rate, but you can get it all early instead of next month, and get a lot of gold and EXP bonus.